On Nevada's version of that groundhog, Punxsutawney Phil, well, he's finally up and at him here. They we're talking about the desert tortoise. There he is, Mojave Max. He finally woke up from his long winter's nap, known as brumation, the reptilian form of hibernation, 1134 yesterday morning, and that's important. It was at the Springs Preserve. Uh, Max almost set a record. It is the fourth time that he didn't wake up until mid-April. Not the latest, though. That was back in 2012. He didn't get up till the 17th. So we're waiting to find out which local elementary school student guessed closest to the desert tortoise's actual emergence time. That kid's going to win a laptop computer and a pizza party for their class. The Mojave Max education program's been going on for more than 20 years. And John, Sherry, Alex, proud to be a part of it. And Sherry, we've had you out at some of those school assemblies where we talked to the kids about the environment and teach them about the desert. It's very fun too and the kids are always really excited to learn and so it's a great program and of course uh, virtual last year for the kiddos yep. but yeah always excited to hear who the winner is who got so close to guessing when uh, uh, when uh, Max might uh, actually show up. Uh, boy, he was snoozing long and hard this year, Nate. He sure was. Now, <laughs> one of the first kids ever to win the contest some 20 years ago is now a uh, firefighter for Los Angeles County. I happen to know his yeah. folks who uh, we met through Little League. Uh, Taylor Child is the young man's name. I think he's like 25 years old now. Oh, my gosh. That is so cool. Wow. Yeah, wow. pretty awesome. Fantastic. I love that. Yeah, Max, uh, Max did snooze quite a bit this year, but <laughs> I don't think we can blame him. No, no, and he's, he's getting <laughs> a little here. older now, so he's sleeping in a little bit more. He's earned the, uh, the right, Sherry, to just get a little extra snooze. Hit the snooze button a little in. more. Yeah.